Kittle just released what I think is their biggest feature of 2025, and this is a game changer for print-on-demand sellers. It's called Kittle Flows, and it makes you feel like a superhuman, allowing you to create more designs in less time, all in one place. But it's not just for t-shirt design. You can also use Flows to supercharge the creation of mock-ups, social media content, marketing content, and more. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how Kittle Flows can help you create more designs in less time, all in one place, so you can make more sales and grow your brand. Also, be sure to watch until the end for some important information about Kittle Flows and a special gift. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Adrian, a self-employed entrepreneur who's generated multiple millions in sales across two apparel brands, and I help people make money online with Shopify and print on demand. My goal is to create the most positive and supportive community of print on demand sellers here on YouTube. So if that's you, join us by subscribing and interacting in the comments. Now, if you're anything like me and find yourself spending a lot of time creating variations of one design, Kittle Flows is a solution. It allows you to turn one design into a bunch of variations all in one place. So let's hop into Kittle and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm here in Kittle and there's a number of ways you can start with Kittle flows. You can create a design from scratch, you can import a sketch that you drew of a design, or you can start with a template. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a template. So I just selected templates, merchandise, t-shirts, and then I'm just gonna find a template to work from. All right, so I chose this Mama Needs Coffee template here, and let's say that you really like this t-shirt design template and you wanna create it in other trendy design styles, but you don't know how to do it or where to start. I'll go ahead and tap the artboard, then I'll select Add Smartboard, and this will generate a new board connected to our design template. And now using AI, we can create new designs inspired by this template without losing the original design. So let's go ahead and add a prompt to our smart board. For my prompt, I just put, turn this design into a bubbly font surrounded by sparkles. In about one minute, this is the design that Kittle created. But let's say that we wanna keep iterating on the original template. I'll tap back on the original template, add smart board, and put in another prompt. I'll just say, turn this design into a Western font. And just like that, now we have another variation of this design with a trendy Western font. But let's keep going with this. So again, I'm gonna tap on the original template. I'll go to add smart board. And this time, I'll lump it a prompt that says, turn this design into a bubbly font surrounded by minimalist daisies. And just like that, we have a third variation of the template with that minimalist floral aesthetic. From here, I could continue prompting any of these designs to make additional changes, or I could continue creating variations of the original template. But I'll just stick with these three variations for now. So now I've created an entire collection for this slogan and blended it with trendy design styles like sparkles, western, and floral. From here, we can decide on one of these variations or we could release this whole collection with this slogan in different design styles and let our customers vote with their dollars. But this is just the tip of the iceberg of what's possible, so let's keep going. I actually went ahead and made a few iterations of these designs, which I'm really happy with. And now let's say that you really like this daisy design and you wanna blend it with other niches. This is very simple to do. So just tap on the smart board We'll select add smart board. And I just put in this prompt saying change mama to nurse. And check it out. Now we have a nurse needs coffee variation of the original design template. Let's do one more niche. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select this artboard here. Tap add smart board. And I'm just gonna say change mama to teacher. And again, in about one minute, it created this teacher needs coffee design for me. So now what started just as this design template here, we took and applied multiple trendy design styles to it, chose our favorite, and then we blended that design with different niches. From here, I could continue remixing this design in more trendy styles or more niches, but I'm gonna keep it at that for now. Are you starting to see the potential of how this can help you bring all of your ideas to life? And best of all, you can see it all in one place. Another little pro tip is let's say that one of these becomes a winning design for you and it's making you a lot of sales. You can just throw it in here and start remixing that winning design and test those remixes that have some validation and are backed by the data. But I'm having a lot of fun with this right now, so let's keep going down the rabbit hole. 
You can even use flows to quickly generate mockups. So let's say that this mama needs coffee design is our favorite. And now we want to create some mockups for different print on demand products. All you need to do is tap the artboard, add smart board and input a prompt. I just input a prompt saying, put this on a mockup of a realistic black Bella and canvas 3001 t-shirt with a woman wearing the t-shirt facing forward with a coffee shop in the background. And voila, now we have a mockup on a black t-shirt that looks like a Bella and canvas. So let's zoom out and kind of see how far we've come. We've got the original design. We've got that design template remixed with different trendy design styles. We chose our favorite design style. We blended that with different niches. And now we're creating mock-ups for our favorite design. Let's say now we wanna add this design to a collection of products and maybe we wanna gild an 18,000 sweatshirt next. So let's go ahead and create a mock-up. I'm just gonna tap the design, add smart board and input a prompt. So I just said, put this on a mock-up of a realistic black Gildan 18,000 sweatshirt with a woman wearing the sweatshirt facing forward with a coffee shop in the background. And here we have a mock-up of a woman wearing a black sweatshirt that looks like a Gildan 18,000. I'm going to go ahead and add one more very logical product to this collection, a coffee mug. So I'll go ahead, select that smart board, add smart board and input a prompt. I just said, put this on a mock-up of a white ceramic coffee mug. The mug is on the counter with a modern minimalist kitchen in the background. And right here, now you can see the coffee mug. So let's check that out. I think that looks super good. Really dig in this collection here. Now we have a collection of mock-ups for each of the print-on-demand products in the collection. Also, if you have a preference on how you want this organized, you can actually drag around the smart boards. So let's say that we want to put all the niche designs next to each other. You can just drag those together and then we can bring the mock-ups up and they still remain connected to the original smart board or to the template, but it just allows you to customize it however you want in terms of organization based on your personal preferences. I like to think of Kittle Flows as an extension of my brain. I know that I'm not the only one that creates one design and then thinks of five other ways to remix it. And I know how time consuming of a process that could be. Not to mention, it was always challenging to create and see everything in one place in a view like this. It's just so nice to be able to put all your ideas all in one place and then continue building on them. So now that we have designs and mockups ready to go, let's go and put them on some print on demand products. So I hopped into Printify and I added my favorite design to this Bella and Canvas 3001 t-shirt. Here's a realistic image of the shirt. And here's a mockup that I created using Kittle Flows and then just uploaded to Printify for this listing and made it my primary image. Once I've completed these listing details, I would just go ahead and have Printify automatically publish this to my Shopify store. And now for some important considerations. First of all, it's always important to remember that no AI tool is perfect, so don't expect it to get everything right every time. Second, this is a credits-based system like all of Kittle's AI features and like many other AI tools. So know that with each new AI prompt, credits are being used. For example, let's say I wanted to create another mock-up for this Mama Needs Coffee design. When I input my prompt and have Kittle generate a new mock-up, I can choose if I want that to be generated in high quality or low quality, and it'll show here how many credits is being used for each. And third, the images generated are only as good as the prompts. I shared my prompts throughout this video, so feel free to use any of those if you would like. But also, Kittle now has flows templates, which you can find by selecting creative flows. From here, you can select one of the many templates. I'll go ahead and select this apparel shoot template. From here, there's a lot I can do, including applying my design to these mockups, or if I select one of them, I can actually view the prompt here, which I can then use or modify in any way as my own prompts. And last but not least, for the gift, Kittle Flows is currently available to all Kittle users, including those on free plans, until August 22nd. So now's the time to get in there, play around, and see how you like it. If you do want to upgrade to the paid pro plan that I'm on, be sure 
sure to use the code ADRIANYT for 25% off. I've included a Kittle link and my discount code below so you can try Kittle Flows for free now. If you enjoy learning about the latest print on demand design tools and features like this, comment the word designs below so I know to keep them coming. As always, I've included a bunch of free resources which you can find linked below, including my podcast called the Print On Demand Podcast where I teach business and marketing strategies to make money online with Shopify and Print On Demand.